The Côte d'Azur, France's Mediterranean playground, where thousands of holidaymakers from all over Europe flock each summer to bathe in the warm, gentle waters and soak up the sun. Nice is one of the most popular resorts, and it's also one of the luckiest. So far, it's escaped the worst effects of the pollution that's become the scourge of the entire Mediterranean. But for how long? The warning for Nice came this summer when the nearby resort of Ierre had its beaches ruined by its own sewage. Worst affected was the Almanar beach, which was covered by thousands of gallons of excrement and the air filled with an unbearable stench. What had happened was that the local filter plant had gone wrong and the raw sewage that had poured out into the bay was brought straight back in by the tide. Ironically, Hier is one of the few French resorts to own a sewage works and the government, now worried about pollution at other resorts like Nice which have no sewage works, has set up an authority to control pollution on the Mediterranean coast. Already, newly formed commando groups are monitoring pollution levels at sea and issuing early warning bulletins to coastal towns which might be threatened. Since Nice is a large resort, it's able to afford fairly sophisticated methods of dealing with pollution. This peculiar vessel, known locally as a pelican, is a kind of skimmer used to remove pollution from the surface of water. It copes with floating garbage simply by eating it. It handles more complex problems like sewage and oil by separating them from the water then returning the purified water to the sea. Any pollution that's left in the sea is dispersed with the aid of detergents. Although skimmers and detergents are the cheapest and best ways of combating pollution now available, their effectiveness in the Mediterranean is minimal because the problem is so great. Scientists predict that if present oil and sewage levels continue, the Mediterranean will be a giant cesspool in 25 years. Something obviously needs to be done, but whereas reducing oil pollution is difficult because it requires international agreement, sewage can be treated effectively by individual countries. The French at least appear to have made a start. At Nice, for example, commandos take four water samples daily from the beaches and pass them on to laboratories in the city. Any changes in the bacteria level are radioed to every town that could be affected. The accepted danger level is 10,000 bacilli per litre. At year, it was 24 million. For many years, towns like Nice have somehow escaped the consequences of pumping raw sewage into the sea and the tourists have kept on coming to bask like seals on the beaches, blissfully unaware of the dangers that lurk in the water. But the example of Yair shows that the writing is on the wall and drastic action is needed. From the air, the Côte d'Azur has a picture postcard beauty but the authorities will have to act immediately if they're to keep it looking that way. <laughs> 